Hi everybody, this is Cindy from the Learning Science Lab and in today's video we're going to talk about how to edit in Kaltura Capture. There are three main things that we're going to go over today. The first one is your, I'm going to teach you how to trim the beginning and the end and this is important because there's always a little bit of setup um, at the beginning and the end that probably isn't pertinent to your students after you hit the record button. The next thing we're going to talk about is cutting out a section in the middle. And this is important um, because just in case you make a mistake, you won't have to go back and re-record the entire thing. We can just cut out a little chunk in the middle. And then the last thing we're going to talk about is adding some crossfades at the beginning and the end of your videos to make them look a little bit nicer. Let's get started. Okay, so once you're done recording your video, and you've saved and uploaded it to a uh, stream, you're gonna see this window in front of you. And in order to edit it, we're gonna have to come up here to your name in the upper right hand corner and you're gonna click on that and you're gonna go to My Media. Now, this is where we're gonna see everything that we've uploaded. So we're gonna click on that. And down here uh, in the Actions drop down menu, you're gonna see edit. So we're gonna click on that. And this option is gonna allow you to edit everything you need for this particular video. So it's gonna allow you to edit the title, enter a description, and all of these other options as well. But for today, what we're gonna focus on is this button right here in the lower right hand corner of the video screen, which is the video editor. So we're gonna click launch editor, and it's gonna take you to this screen. So as I mentioned previously, what we're going to do today is we're going to trim out the beginning. So after we hit the record button on Kaltura Capture, we had to set up our screen the way we wanted to before we really started our presentation. So you'll see down here in this long rectangular box that's highlighted in yellow, this is the video and audio feed of what you just recorded. And so right here is the very beginning. And when you scroll over here, you'll see that, you know, um, there's a yellow tab. So in order to cut out the beginning, what we can do is just select that yellow tab and move it over a little bit. Say we wanted to cut out a full second. So you'll see here in this grayed out area, that's the very beginning of my video that I want to edit out because that was just me setting everything up on my computer. And let's say the same thing happened at the end. You know, there were a couple of seconds at the end that I don't think my students need to see after I recorded something, so then we're going to drag that over as well. And you can tell that things have changed again by this grayed out box. Now, the second thing I want to talk to you about is that middle section that maybe a mistake happened or you misspoke or you had to retell the slide or something. It's totally fine. I would recommend with Kaltura uh, just to talk through because we can always edit out something that you may not like. So in order to do that, you're going to select this blue uh, line and we're going to drag it over. So this is really what it's showing you here is the point in the video that it is. So let's say we know at about seven seconds I knew I made a mistake and I didn't like it. So in order to edit that section out we're going to have to move that player head over to the section we want and we're going to just click the scissors. So what that did is it created two different sections. So now you'll see by the highlighted yellow box there's the front end and the back end of the video. But the good part is we've selected, now you'll see there, there are two different areas. So we've selected the area that we want to start to get rid of. And let's say I made a mistake for two full seconds. So we want to put the player head at nine seconds, which you can see here, and we can hit split again. And now you'll see there are three sections to the video, the beginning, the middle, and the end. And we know that I made a mistake here from seven to nine seconds. So what we can just do is highlight the section that we don't want and hit the little trash can here, so, which will just delete it. So it's gone. And the one thing I want to caution you about here is it looks like there's just going to be a really big gap in the video when your students watch it down. There is not. I want to caution you uh, about moving either of these pieces in a different section um, because what will happen is if you move this over, when you see the highlighted yellow area, when we move it over there, we just added in those two seconds that we cut out and we got rid of some information at the back end, which again you can see here by this like grayed out area. So we don't want to do that. D don't worry, when, it, when it's done processing, it will just go from this section to this section without any break in between. 
So now the third thing I told you that we're going to talk about is how to add crossfades. So let's start at the beginning. Um, and we're going to do that by selecting the video at the beginning. And we're going to select this little option here right next to the trash can, which is the fade in, fade out option. So hit that. Um, and we can select how long we want our video to be faded in or faded out for. I'm just going to choose one second. And I'm only going to fade in at the beginning because I don't want there to be a fade out in the middle of my video. Remember, this part of the video is cut out. So this isn't the end. This is just a, a little mistake I edited out. So now you can see by this little uh, yellow box that there's a crossfade there. It's going to give you an indicator. And then we're going to do the same thing to the back end over here. So we're just going to select the video clip we want to add a crossfade to. And we're going to come over here and hit the fade in and out button again. And I'm just going to put a fade on the out. I'm going to choose a second again. And then you'll see now that there's a fade out option over here, which is good. So it's told you everything that it needs to do. So now that we're done editing out the beginning and the end and that weird little bit in the middle that I made a mistake on, what I would always recommend is saving a copy of it. Um, just in case, it's always better to save a copy so that way well, you can always go back to the original if you need to. So we're gonna come up here and we're gonna hit save a copy. And I'm gonna call this version one. Again, just in case I made a mistake, I can go back and create a version two. Great, so now I saved it and let's go to my media again. So now you'll see here that this is the original video that I recorded and then this is the edited version of the original video. And you can see that there are some gears happening. Kaltura does a lot of work on the back end processing the video. So, um, and because it's internet based, there may be some processing time that needs to be allowed to happen. So we're just gonna wait for that to happen. And then once it's ready, we'll take a look at what we've done. Okay, so I've allowed some time to pass and you can see here that the gears are gone and that it looks like what my presentation is. So let's go into the video that I edited right here. Okay, so now let's watch down the video and, and see what it looks like. It's gonna be hard to see the section we cut out in the middle, but there's that fade in at the beginning, which was great. And then over here, we'll see the fade out at the end. All right, everybody, now that we know how to edit in Kaltura Capture, there's only one step left, and that's to share it with your students. And in order to do that, you're gonna to wanna to scroll down a little bit to this Actions drop-down menu, and you're gonna click Publish. And what you'll see here are three different options. Um, Stream automatically sets the setting to private, which means only the content owner will be able to see it. So just you. Even if you share the link with someone else, they won't be able to see it. Um, unlisted is the preferred method. I think we should switch it to unlisted because what this means is that anyone with the link will be able to see it. And the difference between unlisted and published is that if you publish it, then everyone who can log into stream will be able to search for your video and find it. So I think unlisted is the best option because then that way you can share it with anyone who has the link. So we're going to click save on that. Media successfully set to unlisted. Great news. And then we're going to come up here and we're going to click share. And then you're just going to copy and paste the link for wherever you need it. And that's all I have for you today, everyone. Now you know how to edit and share your videos in Kaltura Capture. Thanks so much.